With that quick jab, Nurse Ruth Bastian, a 46-year healthcare veteran, became the first person in the Bahamas to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Hours later, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis, who says he has a fair of needles, received his initial shot of the AstraZeneca vaccine, along with his wife Patricia Minnis and Minister of Health Renwood Wells. Addressing the media after the mandatory 15-minute observation period, the Prime Minister said he's hoping things return to normal in the next few months. What I am looking forward to is for us receiving the remainder of the vaccines so that our entire population can be rolled out as quickly as possible. I would like to see our entire populace back to normal um, May, June so that we can um, commence whatever um, things we've done in the past. Dr. Bin is also advising the public not to pay attention to fake news surrounding COVID-19 vaccine and again urged Bahamians to get vaccinated as soon as possible. It is amazing. Um, as soon as individuals had heard that I and um, others were being vaccinated, um, I was amused by the amount of phone calls that I received at home. Individuals who were calling and everywhere I stopped. I went to the supermarket this morning shopping and people were stopping me asking when can they get the vaccine, they want the vaccine. So I, I think we're turning the corner now. After being vaccinated, there is a 15-minute observation period where healthcare workers look out for any adverse side effects. Health officials say 110 people were inoculated as the vaccine rollout got underway on Sunday. Well says he was pleased with the turnout. Uh, it is a very favorable, positive, exceptional response uh, to uh, Bahamians getting vaccinated. So uh, despite all the noise in the marketplace uh, from those who are anti-vaccinators, we can see that a lot of the Bahamian people uh, wanting to step forward, willing to step forward to be able to uh, take the vaccine. Frontline healthcare workers, volunteers from the Rotary Club and Kiwanis Club and members of the COVID-19 Vaccine Consultative Committee were among the first group of people to get the vaccine. Ready? Ready. <laughs> okay. So here we go. So I am injection. I should stay. Okay. That's your I'm fine, and she's a very good sticker. So <laughs> if you all want to book her, you feel free to do so. I didn't have any. Um, I hardly knew that I stuck um, was stuck. I am so excited because I'm looking at uh, the whole country. Uh, research, uh, returning some sense of normalcy and personally I would like to be able to see my kids and grandkids and to travel to go and see them. I also want to have uh, that assurance that when I travel or wherever I go even if I get COVID I'm not going to get sick I'm going to need hospitalization. Reporting for the Guardian News Network I'm Berthony McDermott.